Adamas University began its journey in July 2015 and it is uh, about four years and our first batch of four years program particularly engineering are likely to graduate this year. The university right from the beginning had 26 departments covering various disciplines of science, life science, engineering, social science, pharmacy, management, economics and commerce and uh, so on, education. Currently the university has about 2500 students and we are running almost about 34 undergraduate programs, 38 postgraduate programs and even two diploma programs. Worth mentioning is that although it's a new university, the university decided to be research oriented and right from the beginning it started its PhD program and we already have about 71 research scholars pursuing PhD in various disciplines. The university decided to have quality faculty and have had high quality faculty virtually in all disciplines. The task or the faculty members are expected not only to engage themselves in teaching but also in research as well as consultancy and academic administration. I am happy to say that the university has been progressing well. The university has turned out uh, about 39 postgraduates in 2017 and our first convocation was held on 1st of March 2018 and our chief guest was well-known scientist Professor Govardhan Mehta. We held our second convocation this year about 127 graduates, undergraduates about 76 and 51 postgraduates received their degree and the chief guest was Mr. Enal Narayan Murthy, the co-founder of Infosys. And we also had Mr. T.V. Narendran, the managing director and CEO of Tata Steel. Jamshedpur as guest of honor. I must say that university was favored by no other than Mr. Ratan Tata who agreed to accept our honor, DSC honoris causa, Doctor of Science honoris causa. We also decided to honor Dr. Purnendi Chatterjee, well not industrialist, with DSC honoris causa and Professor Partha Sharthi Ghosh, well-known strategist and business consultant from Boston with Doctor of Science Honor Scholar. This was a wonderful occasion for us also to honor the well-known musician or an ex well-known person in the area of Hindustani classical music Pandit Ajay Chakravarti. We had honored him with Doctor of Literature Honor Scholar. This I mention primarily to let people know that how Adamas University is progressing. The university decided right at the beginning that academics shall be most important criteria and we admit students accordingly through a Adamas University entrance test. We select our students. We hire our faculty and all faculty members, they follow you know, their qualifications are as per UGC, as per AICT norm. University has already received an AICT approval, particularly for engineering departments. And once we complete our five years, I am sure we will be ready for NAC approval and you will be working in that uh, direction. We have been fortunate enough to have collaboration with a large number, more than 30 universities in Europe, Asia and um, USA. Particularly, I should uh, mention 
a couple of university professors who have been helping helping us i may mention that myself and our chancellor we visited a couple of universities in boston cambridge particularly mit harvard university of massachusetts at dartmouth university of rhode island primarily to interact with the faculty in those universities to understand the teaching learning process modern teaching learning process and we would like we are implementing the same here the university continuously revises its academic course curriculum syllabus and our faculty members are updated with the regular faculty development program the course curricula and the syllabus are updated with the advances in science and technology in as, as well as social sciences through a board of studies and that goes to the academic council and ultimately is approved by the governing board so in a nutshell what i would like to say the rms university is just not another university in the private sector this university is going to be a very good university in the near future i may point out that i decided to join this university in october 2016 as i have seen this university has a potential to grow the 100 plus acres of land that you have with a green campus with accommodations for faculty and students make this university a very attractive place for pursuing research and both undergraduate postgraduate studies a sprawling 130 acre campus highly advanced infrastructure renowned faculty interactive pedagogy and a vision to create global citizens welcome to adamus university global education now in bengal